Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Kappa Regime, um, and today we're going to be playing We Who Are About to Die. Now, um, just for full transparency, I've tried to record a series for this game a couple times now, but being a novice YouTuber, um, I had to work out the kinks as far as, you know, the mic, the volume, the video quality, the recording quality and stuff like that. But I think we're pretty dialed in, or at least um, I have enough confidence for this first video to go ahead and dive in. But anyway, um, like I said, we're going to be playing We Who Are About to Die. Um, and for those of you who do not know what this game is, it's a roguelite um, kind of gladiator sim simulator, so to speak. So um, basically, we play a gladiator um, with varying backstories, and our goal is to survive through the ranks in order to meet our victory condition, which could be, you know, um, having to pay out a certain sum of money, pay out a certain sum of fame, which is another currency in the game. But uh, I'm not going to kind of dwell on, you know, too much detail. We're just going to go ahead and play so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So I'm just going to quickly walk you guys through it. I have like 50 plus hours in this game already, so I'm pretty comfortable here. So here's one of, I think, one of, uh, according to the skull level at least. So uh, basically each one of the backstories has a, has a difficulty or a perceived difficulty assigned to it. Um, according to the skull count, the Thrill Seeker Civilian is the hardest. Um, there's another backstory called Slave, which I think is harder, but we'll roll with this. So basically our victory condition on the Thrill Seeker is to kill 80 aspirants. So that's killing like 80 other gladiators total. Um, and if I didn't mention it already, this game is permadeath, so um, I have to do this on one life, one playthrough without dying. And that might not seem too difficult on the surface if you guys haven't played this game yet, but it can get pretty tricky if we don't play our cards right. So we're going to go ahead and accept, get right into it. So this is the inventory menu as well as the shop. Uh, looks like we won't be able to buy anything in the shop. Chances are we wouldn't. Anyway, because we only have a thousand gold as well as 1200 fame. So uh, these are the two currencies, like I mentioned, gold will let you purchase items and the like and healing and training, things like that. Fame will allow you to to purchase kind of perks like on the side, you know, like re-rolling the shop for more choices, unlocking more auxiliary inventory slots, which I'll get into more. Um, just a few of the menus is the heat, you know, on the utility menu and career management, we'll see healing, repairing of your items, um, getting preference for certain items in the shop that you want to buy, um, fundraising promotions, bribery. I haven't messed with bribery at all, so I probably won't be getting into that, but we'll see. We might mess around with it during this playthrough. Scalo, um, you can train um, in, in certain, you know, disciplines. But right now it looks like we have a spear, so if I wanted to spec into a spear, I could start that pretty early by choosing spear. And I think the second most important stat besides any of the kind of weapon specific stats is stamina. Because, you know, the more stamina you have, the, the longer lasting you'll be able to to be in certain engagements and it comes always comes in handy. So we're just going to go ahead and, and spec into spear. So... Depending on your intensity level, you're going to need uh, anywhere from, you know, one to six or as much as seven, I think, or six training gear is the most you'll ever need. But we have five, so we're going to do a normal intensity and we're just going to go into our first fight because we can't really do anything else. So basically, this is the battle menu, menu uh, lets you kind of pick and choose your poison as far as what you want to do. So one thing to note here is you always want to choose the fight or at least most of the time you always want to choose the fight that you have the highest amount of chance to win so we are our rank level one so we want to probably tend for a level one bracket level three we'll probably die here uh, but the more difficult the fight obviously the higher the purse so you know you have to weigh those decisions against your own skill and your gear so i think this time we're going to go for a one-on-one -on -one against uh, these are both pit slaves, so um, we'll just go ahead and do this. Okay, looks like uh, the first fight is in the Tarantia city center. Uh, I'll hopefully be able to dispatch this guy because that'd be pretty embarrassing if I die on the first one. So let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. 
Let's clear these out of the way just because they're annoying. But he has a sword, so um, hold right click is to block, and you gotta kind of do it in the direction the attack's coming from. So um, I usually just try to place my cursor on their weapon. It's usually the best bet for blocking. And uh, it's a momentum based game, tabs lock on to your enemy. Um, so if I hold and pull in the direction this way, that's where I'm going to attack from. As you can see, we smacked him from the right side because I pulled and held my mouse in the right direction. I'm gonna block that. We always want to, want to be watching our stamina too, uh, which is in the bottom left along with our health. So stamina management's huge in this game, and I think um, it's the most important thing to watch out for because, especially in in a scenario where you're outnumbered, low stamina stamina is definitely your death. So pay attention to that. Uh, that was a pretty good hit. Well, it looks like he traded out his weapon for a full arm which I don't think was smart on his end. Oh, I just lost my weapon. Probably want to go get that. Shift this to run. We're going to stay locked onto him for now. Where's my weapon? My, did my weapon fly out? Jesus. Okay, so we already specced into a spear, but we already lost our spear. It's over there. Right, so we're just going to pick up this sword, if he doesn't mind. Yeah, buddy. It's a wooden sword. Um, it's not going to do much damage, so we kind of have to pick and choose our shots here. And hopefully not get blocked all that many times so usually with these weapons you try to poke them in the face by just holding down the button without holding down the left click without any direction and then trying to place the cursor on his face basically ouch just threw the freaking pole at me die fool get wrecked okay i'm running out of stamina so that's not good i'm gonna let that charge back up bruh get away from me with that okay using one attack at a time let it charge back up an attack. Because the lower your stamina is when you're attacking, the less damage it's gonna do and the slower it's gonna be. So, oh my gosh, really? I'm getting disarmed by this dude. Keep in mind this game is in early access, so uh, my guy was blocking and I wasn't even holding down block, so that was a little glitchy. Ow. I'm gonna throw that at me. One thing about the AI is it loves to throw things. I can do that too, but it's pretty hard. I haven't really practiced throwing too much, so probably not gonna try to do it. I'll make myself look dumb, so. I'll just keep rolling with this. Okay, that's a good hit. Come on. Really, dude? I think we killed him. It's our first match, guys. Success. And you guys probably, you guys might have noticed when I was breaking that stuff earlier, coins dropped on the ground. So that's something that can happen too, especially when you're in a pinch. You can start breaking some of the crates and barrels that you see, vases, vase, or whatever you call it, around and pick up stuff. Not these, because those are weapons. Anyway, moving on. <clears throat> Alright, so our reward was 1700 and 1700 gold and 2100 fame. <clears throat> we can start to do stuff with some of the money. It looks like we got a gift of a wooden daka as well. I think that's what we already. Okay. Um, you know what? I might not do the. I know I already specced in some points into spear, but I think I'm going to get rid of that and use the wooden daka instead. Hmm. What's our health at? Yeah, we need to use our free heal. So whenever you start, um, whenever you start a new playthrough, you'll have one free heal, and I think there's random events that can give you free heals as well. Uh, but um, healing is extremely expensive, and could if you have, you're having to heal too much, it could prevent you from buying upgraded weapons and armor that would benefit benefit you a little more and help you survive. So. Uh, if anything, just try not to get hit, I guess, but it's easier said than done sometimes. Um, so since we no longer have a spear, we're going to start training in one-handed sword. Uh, we won't buy anything. I think we're good with just training and going to our next fight. Uh, interesting. So there's a one versus many uh, fight that comes up sometimes where, you know, it'll be you versus up to eight. Um up to eight opponents and these matches pay out a lot but they're extremely risky so do those at your own i think we're gonna do this because it'll give us the spoils to the victor it's only a level two but 
The thing is, whenever there's a spoils to the victor, and this purse, or I'm sorry, this perk lets you keep whatever weapon or shield you find within the match, it takes away from the actual reward amount. So you can see it's a lot lower than the other ones. But I think it could be worth it because sometimes they can have really good stuff that's worth a lot more than the delta between the regular purse and the, the lowered one because of the spoils to the victor, if that makes sense. Let's go ahead and roll with this and hope he has some good stuff for us to take. It's already looking like he has um pretty nice sword and shield. At least a sword. Yeah, no shield, but we can take that sword if we manage to kill him. So, again, I want to try not to get hit. If at all possible. Oh, too high. Let him waste his stamina just a little. Where's he going? That's a good hit. Now this guy seems pretty cautious, but you can get some really, really aggressive AI sometimes where they're in your face 24 seven. So I like fighting guys like this. But I won't always be so lucky, so I have to enjoy the fact that I probably won't get hit that much in this match if he keeps his- ouch, spoke too soon, if he keeps his intensity the same. But they can pick it up. Running out of stamina, gotta watch that. Try to hit blocks. Um, so another thing that's really advantageous to try to do earlier on is get a shield because as you can see blocking is kind of low percentage because you have to have it in the right place and know what kind of direction that your enemy is going to be attacking from with a shield um, a lot higher chance that you're going to block without too much effort so shields are super valuable in this game oh it looks like that was a pretty easy match we're going to go ahead and take this probably better than ours so um i guess taking a look at some of the weapon stats so this wooden chromo has 10 damage has 86 durability is worth 100 yeah so two more damage more durability it's an easy choice for us uh it doesn't look like there's a shield we can take which is unfortunate but moving on it was a good fight good match uh looks like we ranked up so ah to my next character so i tend to pick things that are going to benefit me immediately and not really worry about my next playthrough because our goal is to win, right? To win the current playthrough. So I tend to go for those most of the time. It doesn't look like we have to heal. Like I said, um, uh, the more off, the more chances we have to not spend money on healing, the better because that'll give us more money to buy stuff, right? Anyway, we can't really do anything. We'll just buy some training go into our next match and hopefully get something with a decent purse because our goal right now is to maybe buy a better helmet and a shield maybe a better so basically i didn't mention this earlier but i'm revealing certain aspects by spending a certain amount of fame so that's going to kind of tell me which one the more i know about a match the more i can determine which one's going to be a higher percentage for me so i think this level one many versus many decent purse and insurance means that my equipment durability won't take a hit so that's a good one just go ahead and do that and i'll kind of just explain the modifiers or uh match perks as we go just so i'm not wasting too much time talking so we have a partner it's a 2v2 against these two gents partner should be behind me shortly there he is okay should be pretty good. Oh, that guy with the shield. Kind of want to kill this guy so I can pick up his shield right away. And he has a pretty short reach weapon, so I'm not too worried about getting hit too much. As he rushes me. See, this, this guy's really aggressive. Because he knows he has a shield, and I do not. He's being a douche. Well, I will go ahead and oblige him with a counter. Poked him in the face. Locked his attack. Parry and repost. 
You know what I'm saying? Let's see if we can parry repost him. No. Ouch. Uh, we're taking a little damage here. We gotta be careful. Managing our stamina. Managing our distance. Trying to catch him coming in. He's hitting me hard. Jesus Christ. Oh, I might die here. This is not good. Oh my goodness. Dude, back up. Alright guys, I'm genuinely scared of dying here. This guy is very aggressive and I'm not able to get past his defense all that easily. I'm gonna try to trade places with my teammate here and try to take this guy's weapon because he has a very good weapon. Well, this is kind of thing you have to do to survive sometimes is if you know you're outclassed by an opponent, which will happen a lot, then you kind of have to make the decision to switch things up. And hopefully I didn't make a mistake by choosing this guy, but what I'm thinking is he doesn't have a shield. He has a good weapon that I can steal from him. At least for this match, because this wasn't a spoils to the victor. So I won't be able to keep it, but I'll be able to use it during the match at least. And from experience, I know this is a really good weapon. Looks like he's running. Oh, come on. Teammate, watch where you're going. Hopefully I didn't just kill my teammate. I hit him pretty hard. Oh my god. Did my weapon break, or did it just get disarmed? Just got disarmed. I should be okay. Yes. Okay, we probably won now that I have this weapon. What I like about this weapon is you can overhead strike, which is super useful. I think that's the first time I hit a red damage this entire time. Uh, red damage hit spot indicators mean that it was a super effective hit. Yellows mean that it did some damage but wasn't that effective. There we go. Beheaded him. Let's go. That was a kind of a close one, guys, and there's going to be a lot of close ones. Just kind of have to buckle down and try not to make any mistakes. So far, so good. Let's go. All right. Awesome. So it looks like... We got either a throwing skill boost or 2,000 gold. I'm taking the gold every single time. Like I mentioned earlier, <laughs> throwing is hard in this game, or maybe I just really suck at it for some reason, but uh, I don't think there's any reason to spec into throwing at all. Okay, so another random event. A strange ailment has stricken the city. It seems many Tarantians have turned a slight shade of purple. All scholar physicians have been called to aid the populace by imperial decree. No physician will be available this week unless some strings are pulled. I really need to heal, so I'm going to spend the thousand fame to arrange for access to the physician. Because if I don't, I'm 100% dead. So this is what I'm talking about guys, a thousand gold just to, for a healing potential of 17.5 health on the second heal, that's not good, but that's all we'll be able to do. Um, before we purchase training, let's see what we got going on. Okay, our chromo's still good. I think I am going to choose to keep going with one-handed sword. I think it's one of the most effective weapons, uh, most versatile at least, right, because you can have some speed, damage, plus have the ability to wield a shield, which I eventually want to get. Um, we're just going to go into our next match. Just from experience, I think that's all we really have the ability to do. And looks like the first one's a one-on-one, -on -one, which is probably our best bet. It's only a level, level two, rank two, bracket two, whatever you call it. Uh, this one might be good too, because it's a three-on-one. You know what, I might do this just because it has the highest percentage of winning and I don't want to worry too much about my health. So I'm going to choose this one and try not to to aggro the single opponent too much just in case he has some really OP stuff, which kind of looks like he does. So we probably have to hang back on this one. Now it seems kind of, kind of like a cop out, cheesing it a little bit. But hey man, the name of the game is survival, right? That's what we're trying to do. My god, this guy has good weapons. He has a good iron daka from what it looks like. 
It's a really good sword. Lots of reach. I'm gonna try not. I'm gonna poke him a little bit. Try not to piss him off. Plus, I don't want to accidentally get hit by any of my teammates swinging kind of wildly here. Please don't aggro me. I just need to get hits in here or there, or else the crowd will get pissed at me. Jesus, get away from me. Okay. Dude, he looks like he's damaging the hell out of our teammates. I kind of have to... Oh, jeez. Yeah, if you want to cancel a swing, just right-click. Ooh, effective. Dude, get away from me. Ooh, we got smacked in the side of the head, kicking back our teammates. <laughs> Oh, that was funny. Ooh, okay. Hello. Hope I didn't hit my teammate. I think I hit my teammate. Ooh, thank you guys. This is good. Is that overhead swinging weapon? Oh, you picked up my sword. Okay, you can have my sword. I said I wasn't going to aggro him, but now that I have this, I'm just tempted to hit him. I probably need to back him up a little. Oh, get away from me. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh. Missed. Oh, let's go. Let's go, bro. I won't be able to keep this, unfortunately. A pretty good axe. I think any weapon that's has an overhead cleave ability is a good weapon. All right, let's go. Another one in the books, guys. Let's keep rolling. Let's keep rolling. Come on. Okay, good. 1200, 1100. Let's go. And we don't have to heal this match, and hopefully. What's our weapon durability? 79. So we're still good. I think we're still good. Um, no shield. I think we're just going to keep grinding on our training here and going into our next match. Let's keep gradually building up our luck up the... Oh my gosh. Ugh, I don't like our choices here. This could be potentially risky. So sometimes you'll get to the point where you're looking at the matches that you have available to choose from um, and think that none of them are a good choice for you. I mean, and that's kind of what I'm thinking in this case. So you'll have the ability to reroll them. So I think it's worth a thousand fame to pick to potentially have something that's a little more higher percentage for us. That looks OK. This looks even better. That's shrouded. So both of these are shrouded. Basically what that means is you can't you can't reveal any of the uh, battle traits or modifiers. I think they're called battle traits, actually. I've been saying modifier and perk, but um, I think the best bet for us is going to be this 2v1. That's prestigious. I think this is equally as good as the one-on-one -on -one and pays more, but I think I'll have a better chance if I have um, an enemy, or I'm sorry, a partner kind of assist if we have to, like we did in the match that we almost died in. Uh, and the issue is we should have a shield by now. But it's fine. We're going to roll with it. Let's pick up that gold. It looks like, once again, one of them has a shield. The other one doesn't. Oh, come on. And he did a quick follow-up attack. Jeez. You can't get past this guy's defense. Oh, he tosses it. Oof. Man, this sh see how see how effective the shield is? I can't touch him. And he can just counter me and just faint an attack and instantly smack me again. So I'm, I'm using F to kick to try to back him up, but it doesn't look like my kicks are very effective. I might have to switch up <laughs> the partner thing again, cheese, cheese it that way. He keeps throwing things at me. It's kind of annoying. See, the only hope I kind of have here is that his shield is in poor condition, then it breaks soon. More likely my, my partner dead. No, my partner prevailed, so I'm going to kind of see what that other guy had, as far as a weapon goes. Unless my partner picked it up. Ooh, he has a good... Okay. Okay, we got this in the bag now. We 
we got this in the bag now because my partner destroyed a shield and I picked up this pretty good higher tier weapon of his partner. So we got this. Luckily my partner was decent. Guy doesn't have too much choice but to pick up these pots to try to kill us. Come on, bro. Get wrecked. Yes. Good job, bro. Good job, good job, good job. All right. All right, we're definitely picking the 2,000 gold again. Okay, we've built up a pretty good stack. Okay. Ah, okay, it's only 96. So basically, the, another random event is it'll kind of just extort you um, from one of your for one of your gear pieces if you don't pay the gold it's asking for then it'll get destroyed so we don't want to lose any gear especially since we have so little to work with right now um i'm gonna lock another slot and then maybe re-roll once okay here we go do i want this you know what if i sell this i get this bronze teledoska can i still afford this no i can't Okay, so I'm going to hold the shield with fame. So basically, if you can't afford a weapon that you really want, but you know you'll be able to after your next match, then you can hold it by spending a little fame and then buy it the next time. That way you can guarantee it's still there. So I upgraded my weapon. It was kind of a trade-off between, you know, being able to get the shield right away. But I think my other weapon was starting to get low on durability. So I think we made the right choice. Spent. Okay, great. We got a lucky roll on getting a full heal there still one-handed sword spec into that oh man we might have enough gold next time unless we do that wild card one versus four we're not doing that uh, oh wow i think we're just gonna do this we might have to spend more money to hold the shield again but it's okay you can keep holding the same weapon over and over in the shop, but it'll just cost you more and more fame every single time. So as long as we can afford it within the next like two or three matches, we'll be fine. Unless we see a, a cheaper, decent shield too, then we'll just do that. Play it by ear. All right, so let's just kill this guy. Let's not get too overly confident with our bronze Taladaska or weapon upgrade, because potentially that weapon is still pretty damaging. It's a spiked flaga, I believe it's called. We can still do a decent amount of damage if we're not careful. So let our teammates take aggro. Hey, he's running for some reason. Smack him in the back. Ooh, ah, oh, this guy's dead, dude. He's so freaking dead. Oh my god, I'm dead too if I'm not careful. Ooh, <laughs> he paired me from behind and he didn't even know it. Oh god, okay. But he lost his weapon. GG, son. You lost your head, too. Let's go, dude. Okay, so... What I think this game does, guys, and I'm feeling it right now, is it kind of blows up your ego a little bit by giving you a bunch of matches that you just completely dominate in. And then your very next match, you're outclassed and you just completely get destroyed and you're left with the most disappointed feeling ever. I'm starting to feel that. So I'm, I'm trying to temper my my confidence here. Knowing that that could very well be the case this time. I'm going to take our time. Just pick up some gold from crates, which I haven't been doing. Nope. Okay. We're good then. Let's go. Good match. Ooh, rank up. Good bonus. One-handed sword. Instant plus five to one-handed sword. That's good. 2,000 gold. We do have a spiked iron shield that we can buy instead of the one we just held. So we might just do that. Oh no, it's going to increase. It's it's going to take it out of our price range. Oh, and that's so unlucky. So you know what? Going to hold the cheaper one. And we're just going to get some training in. We don't have to heal. And get our training in and look for a easy-ish match. There's a mini versus me. One versus one, level seven. Oh my god, this is bad. This is not good.
Oh my god. I think our only choice is to do this. Really, dude? You know what? It actually might be this one. Because what the luck of the draw means is basically we go in with nothing and we use crowd provided weapons and shields. So I know for sure I could be on an even kill with this Lafosi warrior, knowing that he won't have a sword and OP sword and shield to start. So I think that's our best bet. We're going to cross our fingers, go in, do our best, don't make any mistakes and hope we pick up a good weapon and shield relatively quickly here. So we want to be the first one on the field. We're going to pick up that. Yeah, okay. No, I think we're good. He's just coming in now and give him a love smack right as he gets in or he even has anything. Yeah, I think we're looking pretty good so far. We just can't take too much damage because that, that thing is a two-handed mace type weapon or a polearm, I believe. can do a lot of damage if we get hit in the head with that. Or especially if we get hit in the head. It'll hurt anywhere. But if we get hit in the head, we, we're going to die. So let's not do that. So what I like about overhead striking weapons, especially to opponents that have shields or um, heavily armored helmets, is that you can eventually break them with accurate strikes. Like I just did there. So now his head's open for like full damage from my overhead strike. So... Um, hopefully from there, this match isn't going to last that much longer. And should net us a decent amount of money. Okay, now he's being really defensive now that his helmet's gone. So I don't know if that's a purposeful change in the AI behavior, but it's pretty, it's pretty realistic. Hey, okay, just keep making sure we're managing our stamina. We're not getting too ahead of ourselves here. Sure we're blocking those incoming overhead strikes. Kill him. Easy. I don't think we took a hit that time. Very good. Moving on. That's a big W for us. I think we should be able to make some upgrades after that. Proof. Don't need a heal. I'm still reserving that shield. Okay. So now we have that shield. A kind of small shield. Would I rather get an... <laughs> Let's see, it's decision time again. Will I be able to afford that? I will. This is 1600 and I can get that iron chromo. Which... We're gonna do it. Okay. We need to approve our weapon. So we can't do training. Let's go into our next fight. Shrouded spoils to the victor. So with the spoils to the victor, especially when you're fully equipped, you gotta consider not bringing in a shield potentially or bringing in a weaker weapon. So I think that's a really good use of the auxiliary inventory. Once you start to unlock slots, you can have like a backup weapon or a cheap weapon, like a throwaway that you can bring into those types of matches with. I mean, that's seeming like a good choice right now, but I could potentially die if I don't bring in good stuff. Oh, yeah, that's, that's why this game is... You know, we're going to go in. <clears throat> we're going to go in fully armed and go into this one. This 1v1v1v1. So we have a decent purse and we're not taking any unnecessary risks here. So these pit fights are always going to be... Um, I think at least three or four teams versus the other. So in this case, uh, single man teams, four teams. Looks like this guy wants to fight. Uh, getting 2v1 straight off the bat. Oh, oh, the tables have turned. It has a spear, so I need to be wary of those overhead. High overhead attacks from the spear. Take his legs out. Oh, the other guy got disarmed. Sorry, bro. Pick on this guy's butt. There we go. This guy's heavily damaged already. Oh god. Oh shit. This guy's a flail. Oh, why? Why do you toss your weapon, dude? Oh, you picked one right back up. 
This guy doesn't look too bad. So the thing about the shields is you get, you know, instead of um, hitting F to kick, you'll get a shield bash. That is a lot more effective than a kick. But it uses a decent amount of stamina, so. Ooh, I took a backhand. Oh, oh there we go. Just trying to style on him now. Ooh. Dang, he came back with a freaking counter real quick. Oof, 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 oof. Be careful. Careful now, careful. Oh. Oof. Oh, come on, how did I miss that? And downward slash his ass. Downward slash his ass. Oof, okay. Stamina management, yo. Oof. Oh man, the crowd loved the hell out of that. Alright. Spearman. Wrecked. Oh, this guy's a Pullman. Get downward slashed. Come on, friend. Alright, that was good. Let's go. Oh, come on, dude. Okay, stamina management here. Can't get overly confident. Gotta keep that hubris at bay. We just beheaded that guy. Come on, we gotta, we gotta temper our, our confidence here. Let's take our time. Let's loot these chests, recenter. Okay, I'm probably gonna skip, skip ahead of these in the edit. So, let me just collect these real quick, guys. Alright. I think I got them all. Let's go. Alright, guys. Uh, I think this is a good place to stop in the video. Um, we're doing really good. We're doing really good, and I'm hoping to keep it rolling here. But anyway, uh, I'm going to come up with another one of these, at least two more, I think, left in the series that, at about the same length. Um, we're doing really good, and we're going to keep it rolling. Also, <clears throat> if you guys have any feedback from me, you like the gameplay, you like how I cut the video, or you'd prefer a shorter form video where I, I cut out uh, a lot more of my commentary and just focus more on the gameplay, I'd love to hear that feedback. Um, just because, you know, I'm new at this and I want you guys to find it entertaining, just the way I find playing these games entertaining. So just let me know. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Like I said, two or three more videos coming your way shortly. See ya.